remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Health experts are raising concerns about hydrocarbon extraction related activities such as indiscriminate gas flaring and black soot as major risk factors in the growing rate of cancers across the Niger Delta region. They emphasize that while curbing these activities is crucial, the government must also prioritize the establishment of specialist cancer centers equipped with cutting-edge technology to ensure early detection and subsequent treatment to reduce the increasing mortality rates from the dreaded disease. Cancer is a broad group of diseases that originate when abnormal cells in the body grow uncontrollably and spread to other organs, a process known as metastasis. One of the deadliest cancers is breast cancer, which has continued to claim lives globally. According to the World Health Organization, Cancer was the second leading cause of death worldwide in 2010, responsible for 9.6 million deaths, representing one out of six deaths. In 2022, breast cancer alone caused about 670,000 deaths worldwide. A study in 2019 from the University of Portacad Teaching Hospital highlighted that breast cancer is the most prevalent form of cancer among women in the Niger Delta, reinforcing the need for serious awareness in this region. Exposure to hydrocarbons may actually be increasing the incidence of cancer, pollutions of rivers and waters, gas flaring, exposure to chemicals, soot in the atmosphere. These are things that have been established to increase the risk of cancer amongst population in the Niger Delta. So when you look at it like that, you realize that I don't need to joke with my health. This thing can happen to anyone, whether they are suspecting it or not, I need to be checking. With the rising mortality rate from cancers across the oil-rich Niger Delta, addressing the issue requires a multifaceted approach that will include the development of better healthcare infrastructure, preventive education campaigns to raise awareness about early detection, routine screenings and lifestyle changes. A woman sees a lump in her breast, it doesn't hurt her, it's not pain in her. She can move from point A to point B. So she doesn't think it's serious enough to have that breast removed or to do surgery to remove the lump. But this is the time when she can get a cure. The notion that chemotherapy would harm you more than the sickness will is a misconception. It's a powerful tool in helping to get rid of cancer. Dr. Lushegung also emphasized the urgent need for the government to establish specialist cancer centers across the Niger Delta. He stressed that these centers must be equipped with cutting-edge technology to ensure the early detection and treatment of the dreaded disease. Right now in the South-South, there is only one private cancer treatment center, fully fully equipped cancer treatment center, and that's all the way in Calabar. All across the Niger Delta, we really don't have. We need to just have more done in the Niger Delta. And this is not, it's one of the richest resource producing areas in Nigeria. So one would expect that this thing should be readily available. Inside the Niger Delta, 